We've been doing that for thousands of years. What you need on the right, paradigm is much closer to the 40-year-old cop. Serious wisdom, serious experience, the ability to handle situations 99 times out of 100 without pulling their weapon out of their holster. An argument in terms of op-tempo. The rule, sysadmin is the force that doesn't come home. Those are the boys and girls that don't come home. They stay out there. The Leviathan force is something you break out on occasion with great deliberativeness. Okay? You do not emphasize strategic speed. You emphasize strategic inevitability. That is your deterrence value. If I want to, nobody can stop me. But here's the problem. Here's the promise that you've got to make the American public, to your own troops, to allies, to the world at large. I promise not to break out that Leviathan, not to wage war, unless I'm fully committed, fully prepared, fully incentivized to wage the massive follow-on peace effort <coughs> that's typically required. Don't undertake the war unless you plan to win the peace. Otherwise, you're just going to do drive-by regime change. What you're going to leave in your wake is a situation that's frankly only safe for them, not safe for us. That's sysadmin function. And I like to call it a function because I don't like to make the troop issue the whole thing. Who owns what? Because in many ways I think it's going to be more a virtual kind of company, a virtual kind of endeavor. People coming together, resources coming together to do issues, to do situations. But to me, it's all about sequencing, okay? We just saw this in Iraq, and we just saw it in New Orleans. Think about Iraq, mission accomplished as declared May 2003. Think about the goal of functioning sovereignty. We have fairly good experience with this. We're just beginning to crack the econometric models for the experience of countries coming out of conflict, <coughs> okay? And what we learned from that, and a good version of this is found in Bjorn, uh, Bjorn Lomborg's Global Crises, Global Solutions the book, the compendium of studies coming out of the Copenhagen Consensus. Bjorn Lomberg was the guy who wrote Skeptical Environmentalist. Probably the best book I've ever read in terms of meta-analysis. Skeptical Environmentalist. Okay? My argument for the sysadmin process, it's going to be three big phases. The first is going to be primarily uniform <coughs> military, peacekeepers. You flood the system with peacekeepers. Our historical experience is you get the number up high enough, your casualties go to zero almost. Then you flood it with civilian, I would argue, uniform police. I do not like contractors in this role. Too many problems. The worst diplomats we have. <laughs> then you're talking about civilian recovery. And that civilian recovery, first off, very much focused, quick and dirty, food in people's bellies, money in their pockets. You've got to restart economic activity. And what we got in Iraq is basically America's Great Depression. Nobody's got any money, so you can't do anything. When people don't have any money, they can't do anything, idle hands. You're going to get the long and hard recapture of the lost GDP from whatever conflict situation preceded this. Typically, we've learned from history, about years four through seven. So what countries need in years one through three, typically, peacekeepers. If you give them money, you know what they do coming out of conflict? They buy guns. <laughs> okay? And that scares the insurgents, the fragile peace, whatever. And 40% of the time, within the first four years after a conflict ends, they restart it all over again. The biggest cause of civil war in the world today is actually civil war and the inability to break the cycle. Giving lots of money the country coming out of that kind of situation is like giving somebody walking out of Auschwitz a Big Mac. They simply cannot absorb it. What they need are peacekeepers. And then what they typically see is they recapture all the lost GDP about years four through seven. If you can get them to about year 10, the likelihood of them collapsing back into civil war decreases dramatically. You basically solved your problem. Okay? There's no mystery here. If I was going to talk about what the U.S. role should be, my argument would be front-loaded. 
because we have real skill sets here that are important in terms of command and control logistics, the ability to move lots of stuff in austere environments. Okay? You can transpose this entire thing to New Orleans and just talk about the Fed instead of the U.S. government. Same arguments hold. What, pe what people get nervous about is actually having the military involved early on. But that's the only time they're really that much useful. And if you wait, you get a mission gap, as I call it. And we'll talk about that later. Okay, other differences. The Leviathan, lots of traditional partners. They all look suspiciously like the Brits and their former colonies. <laughs> Over here, you've got to work with everybody. So this is basically about jointness and a coalition version of jointness. This is much harder, interagency, which much like jointness 10 years ago, jointness 10 years ago used to mean used to mean, uh, I'll let the other guy do it. <laughs> and that's basically the definition of interagency today. It's not my job. It's the interagency process. I call the Leviathan your dad's military. I like him young, male, unmarried, slightly pissed off. <laughs> I call the sysadmin your mom's military. It's everything your dad's military fears and hates. Older, married with children, more educated, more gender balanced. This force is never coming under the purview of the ICC. This one's got to. This one's going to remain firmly under military law. This one's going to come under civilian law lots of times because most of these people are going to be civilians. This force is going to respect posse comitatus. This force is going to obliterate the distinction. Okay? And you're going to see people age out from the Leviathan to the sysadmin. How do I know? They already do it. Check out who works for private security corporations. They're all ex-military. We just want to keep a finger in the game. The Leviathan's all about taking down networks. Very familiar. The sysadmin's about putting them up. Much harder. Controversial point, who gets custody of the kids? This is where the Marines in the room get kind of nervous. <laughs> this is when they get kind of mad. If you read Max Boot, Small Arms, Small Wars, that's basically the history of the Marine Corps. They don't like the Navy. They never like the Pentagon. They don't like the Department of Defense. <laughs> they want to be Marines. 